I have my visual calendar for appointments, birthdays, etc. Marking days off when I remember. Sometimes I forget and I go and I've, I've missed the whole week and then I realize stuff I've missed that I should have been doing. Um, it gives me an idea of where I am in the month. I carry the, my planner with me everywhere I go on my backpack. I may not know what day it is, but if it's a doctor's appointment, I know it's a weekday. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to have any appointments at the first of the month because I may not have remembered to flip my calendar over. I try, I try to schedule appointments for the morning because they're my best times. I'm more awake. So if I'm fresh and ready to go, and I know I'm having a good day, mornings are the best times for it. If I start off my, bat, my day and I know it's not going to be a great day, I'm already forgetting things, well, an appointment in the afternoon is never going to happen or anything I want to do. I try to do anything that's hard or I need to concentrate on any tasks like that, I try to do those in the morning. I have a better chance of getting it done, or at least closer to the end of the project a day at a time. Later afternoons and evenings, they're my quiet times or shutdown times. Anything told, anybody, anything told to me at these times? Well, not likely to be remembered. So, my son, who lives in Calgary, he calls me in the evenings. He used to call me in the evenings, but he realized I wasn't remembering half the stuff that he was ta talking to me about, about my granddaughters in Calgary. So he now calls me in the morning before he goes to work on his way to work. So I was very glad for that. I have more of a chance to remember and stuff like that. Um, and evenings and afternoons, the later it gets, I'm less likely to get a joke or even a soft innuendo. I, it, it'll just fly by me like, okay. And they go, don't you get it? And I go, oh, it was a joke. Oh, you meant. And I never really finished the sentence because I really didn't get it. <laughs> and I just kind of fake laugh <laughs> yeah. at them. Um, when I have to go somewhere, well, I have to write down the bus route, the time, and the bus number. I often call 311 for the information for the bus route operator, to the transit operator, to help me. I need to sit at the front of the bus so I can see where I am so I can know where to get off. I don't always hear the voiceover on the bus saying where the bus is stopping, because buses get loud and the voice, I just can't hear it. It's just other people are talking, I'm trying to think, the voiceover comes over and says next stop is. And many times I've skipped by at <laughs> my stop. Also, I sit at the front of the bus because if it's the end of the day and I'm coming back from somewhere, artful afternoons, I might fall asleep. I've visited Sackville a few times, <laughs> Herring Cove other times. <laughs> Not where I was supposed to be, but, <laughs> but I let the, bu uh, the bus driver is more likely to notice me if I'm sitting up front and wake me up. Yeah, I call it taking the scenic route. Yes, I take the <laughs> scenic route a lot. <laughs> I also have the uh, Alzheimer memory card, which I often show to the bus driver when I'm trying to say where I'm going. And I can't, I forget how, what, I, what I'm trying to say. And I will just take it and show it to the bus driver, and he can read it and help me and just say, and they're very helpful, I find. Yeah, it stays on so much frustration. Ration. And have you seen the new ones? Yes, I can't. The new cards are really yes. nice. 
um, I had to actually take, as, take a taxi here today because the new, new bus route started and even calling the operator, I just knew I was not going to make it on time. Yeah. It was just too many things going happening at the same time and a brand new bus route from where I live. I, it was safer for me to take a taxi here and get here on time. So my card, I'm always using it, whether it's in a grocery store and that. That way I don't have to explain to people who do not know me and get sudden things about, oh God, this is going to be forever. She's got dementia. She's demented. Um, I can just show it to the, to the cashier, to a bus driver, to somebody. And they can read it, and it just says, I have a memory problem. Just give me a moment to, to get through it. And while they're reading it, it gives me a chance to collect my thoughts, and I can come around with something to say that's close to what I'm, what I'm saying, what I really mean, where I want to go. Yeah, and the neatest thing is you can hold it in your hand. Nobody else sees it. See it. Yes. Yeah. So it's a great thing, and I just... And I love the new, the new one with the uh, "Forget Me Not" lilies on, yes. on our new yeah. cards. Yeah. When I'm having a really bad day, getting or saying things properly, I do pass it to the person I am trying to communicate with. Is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. I also have a copy of my address with my daughter and son's phone number on it, and I have them both taped with packing tape so they don't deteriorate so fast when I have to ask people to call or if I have to call my daughter to make, to say, I'm lost, help me, where am I going with this today? <laughs> <laughs> when I've been doing something that is very busy or very draining, brain drain, I need a day off to myself to recuperate. Like when I'm with my, my grandkids, they're very active. And when I come home, it takes me the rest of that day to, to go on. Mm -hmm. I love being with them and won't stop seeing them. Well, you were talking about on, being on the bus. And I have to thank you for, for taking me that day and teaching me how to ride the bus and teaching me about 311. And it's you knew how it you knew how to get around it, and it made it real for me, and and it made the difference in my life because it gave me the freedom to ride on the bus. It gave me the the confidence. So we did have fun that day on the bus, going from bus to bus. <laughs> we did, we did, and I learned I learned a lot, and and. Uh, and without that, I, I just wouldn't have the confidence. So, so that was just great. I'm glad. Um, as you said, as you said, for for getting around things, mornings are a time for all complicated things for me as well. And uh, I have to let others know when, when, you know, when it's okay to do things like that, and I have to let others know when I need help. And that's a hard, hard thing to do. That is very yeah. Hard, but it's a good thing for you. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I have a plan for if I get lost or, or if, if I have an emergency. And um, I need in my life to keep to a schedule as much as I can. Keep in sync. It, it, the sleeping is so important because I know that's at night when you hit that certain kind of sleep, that's when your brain washes itself and cleans away all the bad stuff that we have in, with, with dementia. So, so I, need to, I need to have things, I need to go to bed at a certain time, I need to eat properly, which sometimes, you know, doesn't happen, but <laughs> it's my plan. <laughs> I know that feeling very yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. And the exercise, the exercise is, is really important. And interacting with other people, um, I, I'm really lucky because 
I live by myself and I have a dog. And walking the dog is, is something I must do. Whether it's rain or shine, I must get out, I must walk the dog. And in doing so, I meet really nice dog people. I call them dog people. They <laughs> And, That's what I and, used to call when yeah, I went to book. When you took your dog, dog out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it gives, it's really great because it gives me a social interaction, even because some days I don't want to get out too much if I'm having a foggy day, um, and it happens. Uh, I, I just, I can still walk my dog, and I can still, you can say hi to people and use my voice because I could be in the house all day without speaking, and that's not good. No, that's yeah. not good. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I also keep calendars. I keep a calendar in every room so that if somebody calls me and wants to do something, I can see and. and I can see right away. I don't have to look for my phone. Where is my phone? Where is this? Where is that? What room am I? I don't. I keep. I, I keep, take care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> and and like you, uh, I have to have a day's rest after having uh, a very intensive activity. You know, with lots of people or with the kids or with anything like that. I need a down day, just to get. Recentered, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's really yeah. important. And if if I ever get in a panic, uh, I know I call my daughter and she'll help me out. Even though she's far away, she can help me out. <laughs> um, it's great that we. It's great that we have family that we can, you know, some of our family can help us when we need them. Other people don't have that, and I feel bad for them. Yeah, yeah, and e even with the distance, it's still so, doable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have a closeness. And uh, like you said about the internet, with that texting business, it's wonderful. 